Hello everybody and welcome back to another Buffy episode. This is season 1, episode 5. Never kill a boy on a first date. And remember that these reactions are going to be full and up on my Patreon page. If you're interested, the link's gonna be in the description box. Shall come the anointed. Finally vampires the again. I, mean, I was getting a little bored of witches and insects. And the slayer will not know I'm him. here to see some vampire slaying. The brethren of Aurelian shall greet him and usher him to his immortal destiny. As it is written, Am I the only one? so shall it be. <laughs> Even if I was a vampire, I don't think I would help him. By the order of Aurelius. Yes, you're right. Ooh, two points for the while the watcher has yet Sounds to like, a, like a Disney prince or something. Oh. What do you want? A uh, book? Oh. See, this is a school, and we have students, and they check out books, and then they learn. Right? Like, I was beginning to suspect nobody that, comes. Isn't it? I lost my Emily. No, I'm just surprised you gave any thought to what I'm like. You shouldn't be. He's a nerd. Oh, well, <laughs> I love books. I mean, I really love books. Uh, she's quite a good poet. I mean, for a. Uh, a girl? American. Ah! See you now. That was Owen. You don't have time yes, for this. I remember. And yes, I know, know I am calling everybody a nerd. Buffy. Because I am one too. Well, the mere and fact loser. That you to check and out a book. We can smell each other. <laughs> we have like an antenna. Focus on when he's all alone. Maybe somebody should sit with him. Oh, just to be polite. So girl. Good book. Look, an empty seat. Oh, bitch. Oh. Let me get that. Thanks. Boy, Cordelia's hips are wider than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. She, uh, she doesn't like fun. How about we meet there at eight? Yeah, eight. There. Wait, what are you talking about? Beautiful. Aurelius? Boys. Boys. That's what I'm talking about, trouble. A violent and disturbing prophecy is about to be fulfilled. Buffy has a really important date. Owen! All right. Well, I'll just jump in my time machine, go back to the 12th century, and ask the vampires to postpone their ancient prophecy for a few days while you take <laughs> a dinner and a show. Okay, at this point, you're abusing sarcasm. Buffy, this is no ordinary. I love him. Cute guy. Teenager. But post pubescent fantasies. Yes, we'll just have the to... The end of the on. world, honey! The dark forces are aligning against us, and we have a chance to beat them back. If your identity as a slayer is revealed, it could put you and all those around you in grave danger. It was already revealed. Well, in that case, I won't wear Sander, my hat. Sander, Jesse, I'm a Ask Willow. Me now. Good night. Cordelia also knows she saved her ass twice. This other dude knows she killed a giant mantis. How come they don't wonder? They don't ask questions. These teenagers are way too in their own heads. A pale horse merged with death as its rider. You will be judged. You will be judged. Okay. Either get close or get lost. He's looking for her, obviously. In there, there's sin all around. It's a liquid. On that day, there won't be anybody telling us what to do or why we're doing it. You can't prepare. Stop the boss. On that day, but you gotta sit him. down, okay? Is everyone okay? To find okay. Vampire's gonna be okay. Don't eat him, he looks nice. Can you move? Okay. That's not hard to find. I mean, a lot of guys read. I can read. Oh, Sander. Stop. Watch broken. We don't have any. Clocks in our house, and so I didn't know That's what time the stupidest. it was. Just tell him that when you got there, you saw him with her, and you were like, "Okay, bye." He was nice. He was up. Isn't that so? 
What? I would be pissed. Me and Owen. So Been that's what that is. So long, I've nearly forgotten what it's like on the surface. There'll be time enough to remember. You can be under the sunlight, so what's the point? If she tries to stop you... Dark up there, dark down her. here, whatever. But young kids go on dates these days. Well, I read somewhere once that sometimes He's they gonna go... look! Don't! Xander! Interesting. Buffy, maintaining a normal social life as a slayer it's problematic at best. She's a teen! The 1990s in point of fact, and I can do both. Go to the funeral home in case, just see if anything comes up. Oh, don't die, please. I this like bad. you. It's my fault. I just find most girls pretty frivolous. I mean, there's a lot more important things in life than dating, you know? Oh. oh. Did I say something wrong? Aren't there laws against this sort of thing? Do you want to dance? No, I'm still here with Buffy. You are so good to help the needy. Oh my god. Beep, 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 Richie, beep! Sam. Giles, beep! Like, that's gonna stop them. Is that really appropriate behavior in a public forum? I mean, I've never seen a girl throw herself at a guy like that. Ah. What? He's going for Buffy. Oh. Bitch. Yes. Angel. So, I like where do you Angel know Buffy better. From? But the other one is having a really, really good time and will come back. I promise. Girl, shut up. You're making it worse. <gasps> no. Where is he? Giles? You better not die, okay? Buffy, when I said you could slay vampires and have a social life, I didn't mean at the same time. <laughs> I know. We tried the opposite, but it's locked. <coughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Well? They don't know who he looks like, though, right? From the picture in the newspaper, but... What are you guys doing? I'm pretty sure he... Oh, just in case. ...is, like, broken or something. He got killed. He's alive. He's the anointed must be gone. Been brought back to life. Yes. Something. I mean, this is where Zombies. they keep all the dead bodies, right? I have been judged. Are they seriously just staring? You know what? They could make like this is some sort of role playing thing. Very realistic, and it's just a game, you know? Buffy! Somebody's got out Buffy. Going. Girl, you can't do shit! They told me. Oh, uh, okay, throw him in, uh, throw him in there! Oh my god, that was someone! That was someone! Killed my date! No, he, okay, he's alive. You can't just die from that. A teen that can't have a teen life. I mean, I wasn't this kind of teenager. I wouldn't go on dates or anything. What, did Owen say anything about so, me on the way home? Can they find, like, a Specifically teenager about you? that doesn't have or an general, actual social life? Like, in the, <laughs> in the ballpark, any like sort of I'm now. Hi. Hi. Don't dump her. She's nice. This is going well. She's just weird, because you don't know her other I half. Don't. It's not you, it's me. Girl, uh, you can't just say don't take this personally and say that then. And I was kind of hoping that... Funeral home of my own free will. And I should have been there. Buffy. I True. blew it. I have 
and the Slayer will not know him. She I will thought he was going to be like having him. a party or something. Maybe. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> Oh wow, it was the kid all along! Now that's a plot twist I was not expecting. They were focusing the kid a lot, like playing with his little plane and whatever. And I just thought it was the guy who was bambling some weird shit. See, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be a good slayer or a good detective or anything because I don't pick up things. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode with me and as always, I'm Sarah Miana and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man If you never wanna grow, take my hand I'll take you to Neverland